In this session, we're going to look at an introduction to probability. So that's going to be talking about the likelihood of things happening. So let's look at it in words first of all. Here I've got a probability scale. It starts with impossible, unlikely, even chance, likely and certain. So we can talk about different events and where we think they would go on the probability scale. For example, the day after Sunday will be Monday. We're fairly certain that that will be the case. A piece of toast dropped on the floor will land buttered side down. One could argue it's an even chance. However, does the butter weigh it down? So it could just be likely, or it could be an even chance. There's a little bit of give in these sorts of answers. And finally, it will snow in Lincolnshire during the winter. We quite often get snow in Lincolnshire, just not very much of it. So. We could say it's likely, we could say it's an even chance. It's on your opinion really, that one. So let's put some numbers to this scale. So where we have impossible, our number would be zero. And that's for a percentage, zero percent, a decimal, zero, and a fraction, zero. It's always the same. For even chance, we look at 50% or 0.5 or a half as a fraction. And for certain, we look at 100%, a whole one and a whole one for a fraction as well. So now, let's have a look at how we calculate probability using these numbers. So it means it's the likelihood or chance of an event happening. And the way we find that is the top of our fraction is the number of ways that we can get what we want. And the bottom of our fraction is the total number of outcomes. So for example, let's look at flipping a coin. I want to know the probability that it lands on heads. There's only one way it can land on heads. And in total, there's two possibilities. It could either be heads or tails. So that's my fraction, one over two. So it's an even chance whether it's heads or tails on a fair coin. Another example would be a dice. If I roll a fair dice, and I want to know the probability of getting the number four, there's only one four on each dice. But there are six options in total. So my probability would be one out of six. Let's look at an example of a tube of Smarties. I'm gonna show you how many Smarties are in this tube, all in their different colors. Now altogether, there are 20. If I wanted to know the probability of picking out a green Smartie, I'd look at how many green ones there are. There's only one, so it would be one out of 20. If, for example, I wanted to know how many pink ones there were, I would look at how many there are and that's three, so it would be three out of 20. So to recap, to calculate a probability, the top of your fraction is the number of ways of getting what you want, and the bottom of your fraction is the total number of outcomes.